Hey fellow Backyard Boyers, Nick here. Uh, for a while I've been working on trying to figure out some kind of method to heat PVC pipes efficiently. A method that would allow you to work on multiple bows at once. That would be good for you know, somebody who's making a lot of bows or somebody who's teaching a class where you're working on a lot of bows at once and also something that would make it very simple so that you don't have to worry about burning the pipe it keeps everything at a constant temperature so that you can work on multiple bows and you don't have to worry about how long you take in the heating step because everything's controlled and it'll keep the pipes from burning or from melting or from getting too hot but it will also be quick enough and efficient enough that it doesn't take that much longer or it's even faster to heat with this method than a heat gun. And I've had a lot of failures and some successes. One of the biggest things that always held me back was expense. All of my successes were way too expensive for me to really promote it as, you know, an easy sort of method. Because, you know, when it comes to making PVC bows, my driving force has always been, how do you produce something efficient, how do you produce something of quality, but you're not going to be laying out a lot of money. And some of these methods that I've had success with ended up costing, you know, two, three, four hundred dollars to make and build. So cost was one of my goals. I wanted it to, I wanted this whole device to basically cost less than a really good quality heat gun. And you know the really good heat guns are run about forty to seventy dollars. These are ones that you know I would use the Milwaukee that I used cost about fifty dollars. So after a lot of trial well after a lot of trials and a lot of errors, finally came up with this basic design. This is a very simple heat box. Let me turn it on real quick. So it's a very simple heat box. It uses lights as a heat source instead of different types of heating elements. So if anything burns out, it's very easy to actually replace. They're not expensive to replace. I just use, I'm using heat bulbs or heat lamp bulbs and a standard incandescent. You could just use incandescent bulbs for this. Total cost to build one of these boxes will probably be about 30, 30 to $50, somewhere in that range. To build this box, it cost me $50, and that's buying everything, the uh, materials for the box itself, the lights. I'm using kind of expensive bulbs. You can actually, I've actually found places where the same bulbs are cheaper, but I bought everything at one store. And I also have a switch on here. The switch adds about five dollars extra. But it's, it comes in handy because you can turn it off, turn it on, it helps you regulate heat. Also you can turn it off when you're not using it. You can also build a box like this that doesn't have a switch, it just has a plug. You plug it in when you want it on, you unplug it when you want it to be off. And this box is great. One of the cool things about it is because it holds it holds the pipe at a constant temperature of around 250 to 300 degrees and it takes about 5 to 10 minutes to get the temperature. Once there you can put your pipes in and you can let them sit for up to half an hour or longer. I would say half an hour would be a safe, reasonable maximum, but I've had pipes in here for up to an hour and a half without any problems. It gets a pipe nice and soft so you can flatten it consistently, but it doesn't get the pipe hot enough to melt it or burn it. It keeps it at a nice constant temperature. Once it reaches the temperature of the box, it's not going to get any hotter. So even though it's nice and it's safe, and it doesn't overheat the pipes. It takes about five minutes to heat a one inch Schedule 80 pipe in here. About five to six minutes for Schedule 80. It takes five minutes for Schedule 40. 
and smaller pipes take even less time than that. So it's really quick and what's nice is that each box can have three bows going at once and while you're working on the first one even though the last one will be sitting longer than five minutes it'll still be safe it won't overheat and you can work on all of your pipes you know in sequence and so by the time you finished your first one or by the time you've gone through the whole thing your last one is still at a safe temperature that makes it really easy and a great idea for somebody who needs to make a lot of bows for an event or for family or to even sell so today I'm just going to kind of demonstrate how this works so I've got a pipe that I'm going to turn into a bow so what I do is I take my a clamp and I basically clamp just above where I want this pipe to stop heating so once I've set that you just drop it in you can drop it into any one you want and then you need to let it sit for five minutes so I'm just going to go and let it sit for five minutes and then we'll flatten it so I'll see you guys in five minutes bye
Okay, so it's been about five minutes or so. So the pipe is pretty much there. Just got to let it sit just a little bit longer. Alright, so now I'm just going to go ahead, got my flattening jig ready, just take this out, place it down on the flattening jig, lamp it. There it is. So now I just gotta wait for this to cool. And if you were making a lot of bows, you could have a couple more in here. So one thing to keep in mind though is the center is gonna heat up faster. So usually I like to load the two side ones first and then the center one. You can actually mark numbers on you so you remember. But it's pretty cool. Let's see. One of the nice things too is that it gets it right to temperature, but it doesn't get it too much hotter, so you usually don't end up with weird warps or spots where part of the pipe is cooled down faster than the rest. Let's see. Okay, wraps up. perfectly flattened web in about five minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead, clamp it up again. Oops. Broke this clamp. <laughs> Here's the heating box. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a box just like this one. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye.